Hello everyone, this is Amphorus and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. Today we are going to be trying to get all the gold bolts and we'll see about the skill points, which I'm just going to call them achievements from now on. It's much simpler to call them that. Now, the reason for that is because, well, achievements are typically harder to get. They're more niche than simply finding something like a gold bolt. Now, before I begin, I will say I recommend that everyone actually like attempt to get everything themselves first. If you've got the game or if you're just watching, just have fun watching. Because, how do I put it? I personally prefer to get everything myself, to do everything within my power, before I even think to look at a video on like where something could be. Now, anyways, I believe we should begin. We are on, I think this is Naval, it's the very first planet. Now, there are apparently three gold bolts here that I need to find, and my very useful map matic should help me see where all those locations are. And I completely unintentionally did that. I believe I should mention the reason for, like, uh, me the other day referring to X as the attack button and stuff is because I'm using a gamepad controller plugged into my PC. And so I've looked down, and instead of saying square, I've said X, because X is where square is on this bloody thing. So I believe one of those locations is in here. Hmm. Okay, so it's through. Oh! I didn't expect that. Would that work? Oh. Okay, that worked. I didn't expect for one of them to literally phase through the bloody wall to try and get me, you know? So that's one of three of quiet. I'll see you when I'm at the location for number two. Okay, the second spot is in this room. I'm just trying to see. I'm going to have to look around for the zoom in. Anything above us. There's a glitchy patch there and there's a platform up there. Okay. It's amazing what the mathematic reveals to you. I've never... I never would have realised there was a place up here. Okay, that's number two. I'll see you when I'm at number three. Okay, number three appears to be in the water down here. Which... Ah... Okay, so when you're first on this world, you can't swim against that flow, you can't fight it, but with this hydro pack, which you get all the way on Hoven, you can swim against the current. That means... So there's one in here somewhere. Okay. Uh, there's not going to be enemies in here as well, is there? I wouldn't be able to say, honestly. Okay. Is it... Not just here? Ah, there is enemies. Just over there. Now, give me a sec. Was there... Okay, for a second I thought there's a continuation to the water path. And that this place is unnecessary, but no. I'm doing like that. Okay, that isn't destructible, destroyable, whatever. Those are all dealt with. What's... That's just a pathway down there, okay. There's a bounce platform here. Literally just more bolts and ammunition. I'm not going to complain about any of that, though. Okay. Another one of these guys. Okay, and the gold bowl, as I can see, is up there, so that's probably going to be at the end of this part, which I just noticed over there. Okay. You know what? Maybe I should get this guy out. Just do a quick little purge of all sewer monsters. You know... Logically, if I were to pull this thing out and fire it, this whole place should be exploding. Like you can just see all the toxic gas in here and everything, I'm just like... Yeah, this should be uh, going kaboom within like the first millisecond of me pulling out the pyrocitor. Anyways, the gold bolt, the third one, and final one for planet Navalis. 
is here inside this little maze at the end of the water tunnel, which you need the Hydra Pack to get through. Anyways, I shall see you on the next planet. And here we are on Iridia to get the last two bolts I didn't get before, and I'm just going to mention it. My throat is in pain. I've had like, you know how there's, you go to yawn, but it like cuts off halfway, and you've just got this constant urge to yawn since. Yeah, well, it's that. Anyways, the first gold bolt I know is here. I couldn't get through here before. Can I? If not, it's the Devastator. I believe that this can destroy... Huh. I could have sworn that would. Uh, how about the... Oh, I don't have the Visibon Glove equipped. You know, when I've gone to before direct, it's probably put me to right before luck. So all my weapons have reset. So give me a second. Okay, so how about the Visibon Glove for it? No. I could have sworn that this was something that could be blown up. Actually, give me a sec. There's a wall over here. So, would this be like the... It's just like the war on the Valis, where I assume that I need to destroy the metal grate. But instead it was just like the war on the Valis. Okay. So that's the next gold bolt acquired, and I shall see you at the final one for Planet Iridia. Now, I believe the second gold bolt was here, where I noticed a magna boot path before, all the way back at the beginning. So, it should be somewhere around here. Ah, there's an entrance up here. Yep, okay. Okay, so that's the final gold bolt from planet Iridia acquired, so off to the next planet, I suppose. And here we are at Kirwan Metropolis, where I can only see one green area. And actually, there's a big grey area off to the side there where I apparently haven't been. So I've got two areas to look for the two gold bolts I haven't ch managed to get on this planet, so just give me a sec. The first one looks to be off out in the training course section, and... Actually, I just wanted to check. I can blow you up now, can't I? Because there's an achievement called Porkatastic. Yeah. I assumed it had something to do with destroying the robot. I remember trying to destroy it originally and believing I needed a stronger weapon. Oh, the robot dogs are here now. Okay. That's a bit weird. We have destroyed the Blarg, so are they like just sort of lingering? Be a bit odd if they were. Okay, so how close am I to this gold bolt location? Okay, it's better to get to this. It's time to climb the tower again. And we are now at the top, so it's off to... Uh, okay, I can see the shadow of boxes there, if you notice. So I assume i got to glide this path. Yeah. So this will be where one gold bolt is. Okay, that's one down. Just one more to go for Kerwan. Metropolis. Whichever name you want to use. Technically we're in Sydney Metropolis on the planet Kerwan. I hope that I'm pronouncing it right. My nose is a bit stuffy at the moment, so... I reckon everything I say is going to sound a bit weird. Well, weirder than usual. Ah. Nice taxi to take me out of here. Ooh. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. What's that down there? What's that down there? One moment, guys. I thought I saw, like, little glimmers. Here it is. Gold bolt. I can watch if how many I can destroy by booster charging through this. You know that was much easier than just using my bloody wrench. One and almost done. So this is the last gold ball alt for Kerwan. But there's still an area I haven't been, so that's bugging me a bit. Give me a second to go check that out. Okay, so we're pretty much at that location that I mentioned. I hadn't been to before. I'm a bit curious because, how do I put it, there's, other than your gadgets list and everything, there is also an items list where things like the Platinum Zoom Raider, your, the Cobot, and other things end up going. So, there's two slots missing on that for me, and I'm wondering what they are. 
this place is pretty useless. I'm actually genuinely curious why have they put this here. There's nothing over the edge. This wasn't like a location where you could spot traffic going that way. Doesn't even look like that. It's just a weird, weird spot. And we are here at the Blarg Station. I'd already gotten the only gold bolt that was on Eudora, but I've got a pretty good idea. Yeah. So we've got an O2 mask, so we can go outside now, and now I can get that gold bolt that I saw as Clank initially. Because as Ratchet, we should be able to glide over to it. Yeah, just give me a second to get to where it is. I believe it's... I saw it out there, so this, I believe, is where I need to go to actually move to it, unless there's... Nah. Okay. This is quite simple. It looks like a much bigger distance as Clank. Okay. So that's the only bolt that I need to get here at the Blarg Station. I'll see you at the next planet. And we are back at Blackwater City on planet Rilgar. I just need one gold bolt here. Is there any hints? On the map there is, okay, there's a green path out this way. Okay, I literally screwed that up straight away. I'm just lucky I didn't get eaten by the bloody green shark piranha thing. Okay, so the next gold bolt is apparently in the flooded tunnels. Which we had initially sprinted through, which I believe there would have been no way to get it with the time limit you get. But it's somewhere... Off to the side, a little further on. As long as I just... Uh, okay, so I remember there was an upper route here, and I just avoided this giant pit, so it's down in this pit here. So just up. I believe it would just be in the water. Is it actually going to be slightly out of the water somewhere? Okay, it is. Now just get the gold bolt and these boxes. And that's the only one necessary on this planet that I need to get. Okay. Is there like a secondary path out of here? It looks like they were planning on that with the way that bit's structured there. But anyways, I'll see you on the next planet. And here we are, planet Umbrus, where I need to get both the gold bolts. I missed both of them. There are, it looks like, two secret areas to go to. And I'll see you as we investigate them. Okay, so one of the gold bolts is apparently in... Oh. Uh, I must have just been blind and never bothered to look this way, because it's clearly right here. But this is how you open it. And now when I go around, that door should be open. Yep. Okay, so that's the first gold bolt of this planet. Okay. Just gather up all the bolts. I'm sitting at like half of a hundred thousand now, so one twentieth the way to getting the rhino. Okay, so the next one, it's detached, it's cut off by grey where you can't go, but further up there's apparently a way to get behind that door. Okay, so the next gold bolt is, okay, just down here. <laughs> I like that, I cleaned above the door and it's still counting as me collecting it. Okay, so I'll quickly press these. And that opens now. I wonder, does that get rid of the grey spot on the world map? That's like sort of cutting in between. No, it leaves that there. Okay. I was thinking that grey spot would disappear and it turned gold because that door was open. But oh well. Anyways, I'll see you all when I'm at the next planet. And here we are at Batalia where I have one of the two bolts. Uh, okay, is there a green area on this map? No, but there is a large grey area over there. Hmm. I'm just looking. I don't see a secret sort of location, so... Oh. <laughs> Thinking secret location stuff. No, it's that bloody one that was... I am so stupid. I tried to jump and glide across, and I've just looked at that then, and I've gone... That's close enough together to do bloody wall jumping. That's why I didn't get it. Okay, I'll see you all on the next planet. God, I was stupid.
And here we are at Planet Gaspar. So obviously the bolt I need to get is that one that's up there. I was actually told by a viewer that the way to get it is behind where the pilot helmet is. So I'll see you all when I'm there and having a look at like what sort of path there may be. Because I believe... Okay, so yeah, there's a big path. It's shown on this little map o -matic. This is going to be one of the most useful things I've gotten. Okay, so up where I got the pilot's helmet. So I need to go... Not this way, out this way, okay, there's a big ass hole in the ground, so this will probably lead to some stairs or something that takes me up. Okay, uh, these guys are down here, interesting. Okay, just gotta clear the path any and all possible distractions. Oh, these guys, these guys, these guys. I hate those bloody orb ones. Okay. Come on. Come on. Weird to see, like, solid pillars in magma. They're not moving. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm not going to die in here, please, no. <laughs> okay, I've... Okay, I've got the visible gun on me. Can I just... Okay. I hope they've got rid of both of them. i noticed two. Nope, there's the other one. Okay, and there's two more beyond him. I'm just not going to risk dying in here. This is probably a massive waste of ammo, but I mean, still. If I've got it, use it. I'll blow up him. Pull out the devs. Oh, I know it's another one even further back there. So, devastator on him. That was a massive miss, but I still. Okay, I still got him. Because he was right next to the wall. Now, there was one even further back here. I blew up way too early there. Okay. Now to jump over and pray there's not one more. Oh, there's two more. Okay, wait for it. Let's go for back in three, two, now. There's one on the other side who does the same. Got him. I don't believe there's any more in here. So I should be safe to go up this elevator. And this will take me to the gold bowl. Right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, just over here. And they give you a crap ton of ammo as a reward for spending it all down there. Okay. So I'll see you all at the next planet now. Oh wow, it seems Orkson is another of those planets. Eh, another of those planets where I got neither of the bolts now. Where are they? Oh, that's the premium Naritex. There's one there and there's oh my god, that's a long path. It's probably got a full gonna be full of enemies. Yeah, okay, so if we go this way. Yeah, this should take me to one of them. There's a secret path somewhere. <gasps> You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> uh. All frogs must die. There's no exception. There's no excuse. They must all perish. Okay, so. Here. Yeah. Okay, this is the first one. Yeah, okay. Now I'll have a look at that big ass path they're showing as well. Okay, so that big ass path. It looks like it's yeah, at least that got bolt. It's on the other side of these like bombs. So I suppose 
I think I remember there being a metal wall somewhere else. Give me a second to go check that out. Okay, so I went over there and that metal wall can't be destroyed. So the only conclusion that I can come to is I have to destroy the wall up there. And then I've got to pilot the visit bomb all the way to the other side to destroy the metal wall from the other side. It was very, very stupid. Oh, there's multiple walls for it. Okay. Right, remember, remember, Visibomb is the opposite directions, okay? J just remember that. So you've got a pilot of Visibomb glove. Um, through these tunnels and blow up all of the walls. Oh god, this is going to be a nightmare to do. It's all about angles and when to turn and... Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. So I don't even know, like, say, how far through the tunnel this is getting. For all I know, I've just got one more to destroy. But for all I know, there's also, like, another two or three of these bloody walls. Come on. Give me something good. Please. Come on. Come on. Okay, one more to go because that's got the metal. The metal, whatever. Come on. Oh, this is such an expensive waste to get a gold bolt. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, pull up, pull up. Spin, turn, spin again. Sp pull up, pull up. Yes, I got it. Okay. I'll see you when I'm at the other side of that tunnel. Now, I don't think I mentioned it before, but a lot of the crabs on the path have been replaced by those bloody seagull things I hate. Now, you're also going to want to be careful through here. Because this green sludge, I think people who've watched would have, or played have already discovered. It's not like the lava on other planets or the sludge where you get like one, two bounce chance to get out. No, the green sludge on Orson is like an instant death liquid. So just be careful. Make your way through at your own pace. Avoid setting off the bombs and blowing yourself up as well if you're on low health. And eventually, when you get to the end of this path, which I believe should be coming up any second now, you will manage to get the last gold bolt for orcs on. Yep, there we go. This is a... Is this some sort of like a living weird organism? Because it's got literal teeth on the edge. It's a tunnel full of slime and it's very fleshy looking. It's a tag concerning, you know. Now, there's a single gold bolt on Pokitaro, which appears to be a set of islands off to the side there. I'll just see you when I get to that location. Okay, so rather than a set of islands, it appears to be a tunnel. So... Pop out to a sort of maze here. Yep. Get those. Get these. Jump up. Jump up. Jetpack jump up. Booster lock. Okay, so you would have had to have already, you know, done most of Poke Tara to have even been able to do this. You need the hydro pack to get through that tunnel, I assume, and then you need the jetpack to even be able to do this a little bit. Okay. Swing. You think you killed me? No, I survived. And none of you do. Okay. Right, they can survive two bits. God. This is a nightmare. Okay. Uh, can I just scoot along the outside? No, I can't, so I'm just going to dodge them all. I can see the gold bolt I need to get all the way up there. Locked off from view by that. So. Ah! <laughs> okay, I got it. I thought I was going to land on one of those bloody freaky fish and. Well, you know. Cark it. So, does this. lead to. Ah! 
Ah, it's the top of the waterfall. Anyways, I'll see you all on the next planet. And I return. I was called off for dinner, so pause the recording. So, what was I was doing? I am on Hoven for a gold bolt, I believe. Alright. These guys are still a thing. Uh, okay, is there any green area? There isn't a secret zone, but there are two gray spots I haven't been. At gray spot, I'm pretty sure I already know what it is. Then there's that other gray spot there. Keep hitting that bloody button. So, I'll head to that gray spot. I'll see what I can see. And I suppose I'm just going to have to look around for a while. Okay, so the grey section was literally this platform here with no gold bolt at all. It's just a, a random bloody platform. Okay, I'm going to have to keep looking around for a little bit. Okay, it's taken me a tad longer than I would like to admit. But I finally found the gold bolt coven. So, you see this platform where you jump across here? Well, until this area is submerged, you can't get up here. And get this gold bolt. And I'm not joking, this took me a lot longer than I would like to admit. Eventually I figured they had that bolt in the underwater sort of tunnel on Realgar, so maybe there's a cave that I missed that I could get in, in here only after it was underwater. It's like a section that was sort of like halfway where I can't jump up to it but I also can't like swim down to it at that point. But I've got in that bolt now so it's off to the next planet. And here we are at Gemlik base where there's one gold bolt for me to find. I believe I already know like where it is I just don't know how to get it. It's visible from that green sort of sludge spot where the where it first starts rising. Now this recording has been going on for a very long time now. A lot longer than I expected, if I'm completely honest. Who knew that was so hard to find the gold bolts? So I reckon I'm just going to do the gold bolts. Uh, it's gonna, there's going to be a lot of crap cut out me in between just sort of looking around. Oh, thank you. They don't have the machine guns anymore. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'll see how the other gold bot and now keep talking. I said I'd continue talking when I got here, but now I've got... Okay. There was a force field here last time. I remember that. But now the force field is just completely and utterly gone. So I am very confused. I didn't even find like a tower or anything. Maybe it was linked to beating Quark. I've got honestly... Oh! You guys can follow me into the tunnel. I've got absolutely zero idea on how or why it is suddenly like so easy to get to. But I'm not going to complain. So wait, there is a tower up there. Was this really just it? Yeah, this was the secret area. And there was a tower here. Give me a sec, I'm gonna fire a bit uh, like, sort of, bit of ammo through there, and I'll see if I can track this to where, like, you obviously there had to have been another way to do this, so it has to be somewhere where you should have fired it from. Okay, so you had to come in through the ceiling or somewhere with it, and that would have opened it up so you could get this. Anyways, I'll see you at the next planet. Uh, I see. Fire it through here. Okay, no, never mind. I figured no I figured that fire it through there, then you pull up, turn it around, and you bring it in through the top. Here we are on core two to get the singular gold bolt, which is in that space where I thought there was nothing. Okay, I'm assuming that's the... Uh, it's just clicked. It's just clicked. The shape. I know that shape. It's this door here. This is a vault. This is the code bot. Yeah, the hexagon shape. 
Oh, uh, well. Another gold bolt for me. Give it to me! Okay, I'll see you at the next one. And we are back here on Dress Fleet for the second of the last two gold bolts. Is there any... Oh, there's a, there's a quite clearly hidden spot on this planet. Give me a sec to find which direction I've got to face. See, this is a bit of a... Uh, so, it's the water... The water tunnels are permanently open now, so that's green. So, it's through here. I was just looking around at the teleporter and where the Seamoth looking spaceship are, and I'm just like, where do I go? I've got no idea. It's a bit obvious now, and so it's through these tunnels, there's a little spot where I need to backtrack, it appears. The issue is, you're still on a timer for this, so this is a all around crappy situation. Can I... I can open this underwater, which is good, so I should be able to check when I'm when I'm close. And get an idea where I need to turn back through. It's most likely going to be at the next big opening. So like a little trick for people. Some people might have actually gotten the gold bolt rather than completing this path first. But we shall see. Let's have a look. We've still got... Through here. Here we go. Ish. Stunned. Ish. Stunned. It's always when I get towards the end where I start hitting everything because things go slightly faster. Oh god, one health. Okay, it's literally just up ahead here. Here. No, not there. So does it open up on this side as well then? It does. There's a second door that opens up here. So it's sort of like you choose which path at that point. And that takes you to... And we are back. You didn't see me get shocked to death. Not at all. So this is where that other gold bolt is. And I just got a skill point for some reason. I'm a bit confused about that. But so here it is. Second last gold bolt achieved. It's in a hidden tunnel in the waterways to get to... I believe this is where the code bot was hidden. And this completely resets your timer. So that's even better, because now I can just swim straight across. And use the teleporter to get back. And here we are, at the last gold bolt. It's got to be through there, I just can't figure out how to get in. Unless I get to that platform up there, and it's I jump down and drop behind sort of situation. Okay, everyone, I am back here. I couldn't find any force fields or anything. I wasted so much ammo going back, forth, back, forth, and I eventually got sick of it, so I've looked it up. It's... It's surprisingly easy. So what you want to do is get your taunter. You want to call this guy over to you, and he hits the button for you. That's it. That's the secret this whole time. And here we are. The final gold bolt. All 40 collected. The last gold bolt. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell notification for future updates. I shall see you all in the next episode where we have a look at this skill point stuff.